There are certain chord progressions that you will never forget. For example, I still remember the first time that I learned the sus2 and the sus4 in D and in A. Another beautiful chord progression that caught my attention back then was the acoustic rock chord progression that I played at the beginning of the video. Now, I didn't realize that back then, but this chord progression is entirely played with major chords. We are playing E major, D major, A major, and E major, and then G and A. In this lesson, I'm going to analyze this chord progression. I'm going to show you how we can embellish these beautiful chords. And also, I'm going to show you these scale or the scales that you can use to play or improvise over the chords. We can approach this chord progression in many different ways. I like to start with a little bit of strumming. I mean, even with such a simple strumming pattern, the chord progression sounds beautiful. Make sure that you keep it really dynamic. You don't want to play everything the same. Just strum the first chord and then just focus on the top strings. Don't forget to shake your guitar if you want to add a little bit of vibrato. Cool fact about this chord progression, we can embellish these chords by adding the sus2 and the sus4 family to each chord. For example, I can play E major, E sus4, the D major, sus2 and sus4, the A major, the sus2 and the sus4, or if you play like this, A, sus2, sus4, and back to the E, and also the G major, I can play uh, the ninth or the sus2 to the G major as well. So we can keep the same nice strum but add different voicings to the chords. Now let's talk about the fingerstyle technique. You can definitely play these chords in fingerstyle and I'm gonna show you a couple of ideas and then maybe you can come up with your own. Now the first time I played like this. It's a beautiful chord progression, right? So we're playing E major, a slide from two to four, and then the top E string fret number four. Now this is an E major chord, if you think about it. Just like D major, but two frets up. But we're only gonna play uh, the third and first string. And then we can just play with this shape. go uh, on three and quickly on two and then one and open and then the D major now same thing here you can put down the chord and then just play the fourth and the first open a hammer on the front number two so you're playing the D major chord and the second string and the E string open so you can still play with the same sus2 um, family um, on the D major as well. Then... Now this is when things uh, sound really, really, really bluesy uh, and rock because I am using a different scale. I'm using the E minor pentatonic scale. So I will play uh, the G, the fret number three, and slide to fret number five. I play it twice 
and I like to grab the string to give it a little bit more of a stronger attack. The bass note of the A chord and then the A sus too. So And again, the A major chord really kind of uh, opens up this beautiful bluesy sound. So the next phrase is entirely played with the E minor pentatonic scale and the E minor blues scale. So on fret three, open, three, open, and then three. Uh, the third fret on the third string with a quick slide on fret number two, open, and then the fret number two. G major, I like it. G sus two. So just the string uh, E, G, and B. Fret three, open and three. But we start with the G string for number two, and then we get rid of it. And then the A, which could be either a sus four or a sus two. So. Now, scales-wise, I like to use the E Mixolydian scale and the E minor pentatonic scale. Now, the reason why we use the Mixolydian is because we start the chord progression with the E major, right? But the chord progression is not in E major. In fact, we're playing E major, D, and then A, right? So the E major is actually the fifth degree of the A major scale. Then we have the D, which is the fourth degree, and then back to the home chord, which is A major, the first degree, and back to the fifth. So it's kind of a awkward chord progression. For this reason, we can use the E mixolydian scale, which has the same notes as the A major scale, which is start from the note E. So I have E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, and D natural, and back to the E. So I can play the three chords with the Mixolydian scale. If I do the same thing but with the E major scale, it sounds super wrong. You want to make sure that you keep the D natural and not sharp. And obviously we can use the minor pentatonic scale, the E minor, which is really bluesy and rock. Which we all know. So for example, you could play uh, the E mixolydian on the E major and D major. then the E minor pentatonic over the A major chord. And a different phrase here with the E minor pentatonic. Three and five, three, five, three, three and two, open, and back to number two on the D string. I also played a, a slightly variation of the chord progression and played the C major and the D major and the E major, which is also really rock. And one cool thing that you can do here, just play the C major with the G on the bass. So it's three, three, two, open, one, and open. And when you play the D, you just slide this chord two frets up. And the E major.
definitely a super interesting chord progression. I really love it, guys. So you can really take it step by step, play around with the chords. You can literally just strum these chords lightly and it sounds beautiful. And if you wanna try also the finger style with the melody, you can just give it a go and see uh, what you come up with. So really good luck with this lesson. I'm gonna leave you to practice this and I'll see you next time for another lesson. Talk to you soon, guys.